lockdown. Times are tough. You might feel alone, scared or sad. Things are confusing right now. There doesn't seem to be an end. But throughout the darkness, there is a light. And this is how I find mine. Wow, I am pretty much blinded. My name is Max, and today I'm going to be showing you what it's like to be in lockdown. So the lockdown has been going on for about, well, I would say three weeks or so, maybe give or take a few weeks. And um, I'm going to show you what it's like to be in my daily lockdown routine because things are getting repetitive, but I'm not actually getting bored. And I feel like people right now just need something to help them not get bored. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you. So now that we're dressed and washed and feel a bit more human, me and mum are gonna go for a drop together. So let's go, we're taking Misty. Yeah, please. Right, we're gonna take Misty, let's go. As you can see, Misty's really excited to go on the drive. Come on, come on. Right, ready, up. There you go. Right, we're all set, where are we going? Oh, okay. We'll, we'll just go for a drive, shall we? You excited for the little walk, Misty? You excited for the adventure? I think she's very excited for the little adventure. She's been coming with us like every day. So I'm just popping into Tesco quickly because I've got to get a few bits for the house, like bread and milk. So I'm gonna pop in and show you what it's like down here. So it's not actually too bad here anymore. Like it used to be a lot worse than what it actually is. So things are kind of calming down. People are still sticking to the two meters and everything. But it's not as bad as it used to be. So they didn't have the stuff I needed, but I did get a few little candle bits. I've got a birthday coming up. So I thought I would get them some little bits because right now I think celebrating anything you can and any way you can is probably the best thing. I don't know my mum parked the car. There it is, it's the only pink one. Oh, wow. So, I just got in from going out and it was really nice to actually get some fresh air. While I was walking around Tesco, I noticed that a few people were wearing NHS lanyards and it got me thinking, life must be completely different for them right now. They're literally on the front lines. I do actually have a friend who works in the NHS, so I'm gonna give him a ring to see how he is and see what it's like to be working for the NHS right now. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. Um, yes, uh, just come back from a day's work, of course. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, uh, it's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing very well, thank you. Good. How is everything going on in like all the hospitals and everything right now? Um, so at the moment, we're, we're doing quite well. We've managed to deal with a lot of the, the peak of the virus and now we're trying to work towards, you know, trying to bring back normality, although it's quite hard now because there's a lot of, a lot of still COVID going on and a lot of, um, a lot of protection, you know, you need to protect certain people um, and help frail and elderly. So it's, it's hard to try and implement a normal service in the context of COVID, but we're doing all right, yeah. How are you coping though, like with everything that's going on? Yeah, I mean, from the start, it was, you know, it's very, you know, medical community were very, were very uh, responsive to people's needs. Um, and we definitely, from the start, highlighted that, you know, it could be a very stressful time, especially making very difficult decisions about, you know, potentially life and death situations. Um, and, you know, from the start, the, the hospital I was at started different programs such as well-being programs. They dedicated a certain room um, to well-being. It's called the well-being room or Novid room. Um, so it's somewhere where you can go and talk to people and there's games and things and snacks and you know, lots of donated things from the community outside the hospital. So that always helps. The amount of Easter eggs we had around Easter was phenomenal. Um, so, you know, it, it's it's you know generally the spirits in the hospital are good and the staff are well looked after um and you know the stresses of all of it um have rather been dampened which is good oh i'm glad that it's all been dampened and everything um yeah. what should people do though if like they feel like they might have the virus 
So, um, you know, if you're displaying the typical symptoms of the virus, I mean, it gets updated from time to time, but, you know, the typical ones being protracted fever and a cough. If you're living on your own, it's quite simple. You know, you, you'd have to isolate for, for a good period of time, um, up to two weeks. Um, and depending, depending on a few things, maybe you've got family members and things, depends on how your family should respond. So members of your family also, also be isolating. Um, if you're feeling particularly unwell from the virus, you definitely give NHS 111 um, a, a call, you know, and they'll direct you in the right way. And if you feel it's a real emergency, then 999 is your best call. But for the most part, people with coronavirus are absolutely fine. It's like a flu, or if they don't feel it at all, and now the, the testing program is, is coming out bigger and bigger. So nowadays you can you can come in and get a test pretty easily, um, which will tell you, you know, a pretty good yes or no answer. Oh, well, it sounds like you guys like getting everything under control, which is awesome. So have you got yeah. advice for anyone if they're just from being at home, how to cope with lockdown? Uh, and it's very important to keep up exercise. That's been throughout, you know, you've always been able to exercise. Um, which is good, um, keeping up with good nutrition um, and just trying to explore new things, what you, you can to keep you sane. And of course, if you're with family and friends, you live together in the same household, you know, finding solidarity in those people is always a good, a good way of recharging, um, albeit a few months, well, a couple of months down the line. Now it might be stretching a bit more, but you have more freedom now. So, you know, there's more room to maneuver and, and, and hopefully um you know you've got a good routine to keep you going it was really interesting to hear what adam had to say this lockdown is hard but we have to remember that we're all in this together i find it helps if you do things that help you to relax me i absolutely adore skincare so i may have spent way too much on a few new bits maybe you could try getting into a hobby or into doing something that you love but what is important is that we do remember to remain calm during this time the NHS have got an absolutely massive fight on their hands right now and we have to do everything we can to keep ourselves safe and keep ourselves entertained and out of harm's way so people like Adam can go home and relax and not have to worry about saving our lives. So binge watch Harry Potter, read that book that you've never quite managed to finish, spend time with the ones around you that you love and remember to keep calm, stay safe and most importantly have fun because we're all fighting this together. The hardest thing in this world is to live in it, but we've just got to be brave, hold on, and most importantly, live.